Hi, I'm Tracy Johnson with Evance Support. In this video, we're going to explain how to add or edit a recurring event in SignUp. Note, if you wish to see a more detailed overview of many other edit event features, please view our general SignUp add edit video instead. A recurring event is the same event that is repeated on different days over the course of your library's calendar. The most common example of this is a weekly children's story time or a week-long class on Microsoft Excel. When you've logged in to the Sign Up calendar as a staff member, choose the Add New Event button under the Sign Up menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Enter your basic event details under the Quick tab, and your next option will be Recurring. In our example today, we're going to have a technology class. And this is going to be a monthly or a weekly event. As you follow your breadcrumbs across the top, the next option is recurring. There are many ways to set up a recurring event, but typically this is accomplished by selecting a repeat option from the drop-down menu. In this scenario, we're going to choose that this event is repeated once a week, every Thursday, for up to six weeks. So we're going to choose six occurrences. You can also add additional dates independently of the repeating rules you set up by using the additional dates area. Let's add an extra Tuesday to our event. The next area, of course, is adding your event details. After filling out your event details, there are a few areas in the registration page that are unique to a recurring event. When creating a recurring event, it is generally best practice to choose a relative start and end date rather than a literal calendar date. In this example, we are going to choose registration may begin 10 days prior to the actual event and registration will end one day prior to the event. We have entered those here in the start and end time. The attendance type options are only displayed in the registration page when you are creating a recurring event. In most circumstances, you are going to want to choose an individual attendance sheet. This means that each in instance of the event has a separate registration and a separate attendance sheet. This would be typically used for your weekly children's story time or a monthly HOA meeting. In contrast, in a shared attendance sheet, the patron registers just once for all instances of the event recurrence meaning that the first instance of the recurring event has the attendance sheet for all of the instances in the event. This would be typical for something like our technology class. The assumption would be that the patron is registering to attend every class for that series and the registration is kept in one spot, even if the registration was taken on the third day of the event. Please note that when you're running attendance reports, the attendance on a shared attendance recurring event series will only display if the first day of the recurrence is included in the report, and none of the attendance will be displayed in the subsequent instances of the recurring event. The final step in the event creation process is to view the summary. If you have any errors in the event creation, the process, they'll be listed here in red. Otherwise, you can look over the summary and proceed with either saving the event for the staff to use later or for publishing the event can become public for your patrons to view on the calendar. For further detail on the features covered here, please consult our detailed knowledge base articles and watch our other sign-up tutorial videos.